Hi Scorpio, I'm Anisha. To know more about my work, you may visit my website www.tarobyanisha.com. For those of you who are seeking deeper clarity in your lives and in your career, for a personal consultation, you may write to me at tarobyanisha.gmail.com. Scorpios, we have Mars that is finally going direct. Mars has been retrograde since the last two and a half months and it is going direct finally in your own house. And this is a, this is the house of self-worth, your dreams, your desires, how it is that you want the world to perceive you. And it's a very unique house. In fact, it gets, uh, it's fairly challenging for astrologers to read this particular house because your own dreams are so unique to you. And with Mars coming over there, there's just going to be a surge of confidence, of being very ambitious, of how it is that you're really, you're just going to be feeling very good about yourself, uh, Scorpios. And it's a time wherein that uh, the entire, if they have been plans that you have made for yourself and they've been there at the back burner, they, everything will just sort of get accelerated on its own. And uh, you're going to be finding that... Uh, uh, you know wherein that you were having to make do with what is it that people were doing for you or their own initiations this time you'll find that you know you're able to handle and you're able to initiate a lot of work uh, for yourself on your own and uh, this is also a time wherein that um, things are really back in your own hand you really seem to be in control wherein that you can really push things forward in the way that you want them to be and uh, it's a, a time also where you're going to be uh, there seems to be a splurge of resources, uh, Scorpios, for you. So you're going to be in a place where uh, um, you're going to be pretty much be not just be in control of your own life, but you're going to be driving things the way that you want them to. And uh, you're going to be letting also others know, you know, that um, you finally arrived and you're doing well and so on and so forth. So the for, for the first couple of weeks when we begin the month, we have... Uh, there's a lot of focus with Mercury, Venus and followed by Sun later on in your uh, house that is all about expansion. And uh, this is, uh, it's also a house of values and uh, we also have a new moon over here. So during this time it is, uh, because this is a house of higher mind and consciousness and also education, uh, you'll find that there's, with a new moon being over here, um, it's, you, you're going to be in a very ambitious space. You're no longer happy being where you were and how you were in the last couple of years. It's just that sort of you've come to, um, you know, it, it's like all the wrapping has, uh, it's been removed and you're now ready uh, to make your presence felt and you're ready to sort of take on the world. And um, so, and you're quite proud of the fact and you want your friends, people around you to know that you have arrived and uh, you're also going to be feeling very adventurous and uh, you're no longer happy sort of sitting in the corner and uh, uh, you know being given what is uh, sort of you know uh, you get but you're just going to be getting out and you're sort of staking your claim and it's also a time where uh, you are going to be pushing the boundaries of uh, your mind as to how much is it more that you can learn and uh, even your own spirituality will undergo a change a lot of you are going to be um, exploring your beliefs and uh, also it is uh, you know it, it's how it, it has to do with your conditioning how it has been that you know, since the time that you were young and you were taught to believe certain things and uh, feel in a certain and hence felt in a certain way. But now it's a time wherein that you have sort of rehashed, you've sifted through it all and you know better. And it's, it's a time where you're going to be, um, there's going to be a lot of opportunity to travel out of the country. Um, in July for you Scorpios is a lot of travel that's happening for you which will really expand your mind put you across different cultures different people and uh, however try not to sort of commit yourself very quickly to something that is really long term uh, evaluate it enjoy the ride and don't sort of be in a rush to uh, you know close everything or close all the loops that are there just you know, see how things are opening up for you. Around the 13th, we have Venus that is getting there in your house of career and reputation and what a fantastic place for Venus to be in. And then Venus is followed by Mercury and much later we have Sun as well over here. So over here, there are going to be a lot of conversations about your career, about, you know, you could be planning a lot of work and how it is that your life is going about it and uh, where it is that you see your career going. And you're going to be also be thinking about... Um, 
your goals uh, your career goals and where it is that you see yourself going and uh, it's a uh, time where you could be thinking about the big picture and you could be uh, feeling quite realistic about your plans and uh, also this is a great time for making um, um, making um, I would suggest putting very realistic goals as far as uh, your career is concerned so for those of you who have not defined um, as yet as to what is it or where it is that you would see yourself it's a great time for you to be uh, sitting and defining these goals these career goals for yourself as to where it is that you see yourself and how it is that you see your uh, career uh, uh, planning out and uh, it's uh, also some way there is a lot of clarity on what is it that you want and how it is that you want things to be so there's going to be a lot of uh, um, there is going to be a lot of um, there are going to be a lot of conversations, there are going to be a lot of, you could be meeting up with people, you could be networking, a lot of emails, SMSs, texting all around your work, maybe you could be seeking advice, maybe you could be you know, meeting up with consultants and there seem to be a lot of conversation around your uh, work. On the 19th, we have a full moon in Capricorn uh, where we have Pluto that is transiting uh, Capricorn and in fact, uh, Pluto entered Capricorn in 2008 and he carries on being there till about uh, 2024 and uh, Pluto is the god of underworld and as for the Greek mythology he is the uh, god Hades who had uh, abducted Persephone and uh, they both rule the underworld and uh, so Pluto is all about you know which is something deep inside your psyche and Pluto rules the dark side of our soul so everything that is really there in the subconscious stuff that really is not so um, not so pretty and not so lovely and you know things which are little complicated and little hard to sort of uh, uh, deal with and in fact you know things whether it is uh, uh, criminology or it is um, even I, I would say things like dictatorship fascism they're all very very plutonian um, uh, areas but then so is uh, absolute dedication and devotion as well and that also comes under Pluto so you'll find and, and because Pluto stays in each uh, sign for a way long duration it ensures that the entire overhaul happens about your your psyche your belief system your values you know it just sort of digs up everything out and it makes you really work through it so for you it's it's happening there in your house of um, it's in your house of communication some amount of travel and it's in your house of your sibling and i think this is a time also where you will be finding that uh, you know your siblings are being really supportive or there is a lot of support that is there and uh, it could also be that uh, some of you could be reconnecting with a sibling. Uh, it could just be like a bonding time for you. And uh, you could also be, you know, dealing with something in your community. It can be, um, you know, you could be finishing a, a project as well, which maybe has to do with the community. Maybe it could be a group project that you're finishing off and it could just be uh, finishing now. And uh, you could also be having, some of you could be uh, having to deal with communication and you could just sort of be having a hard time getting your point across copies during this time. So uh, just ensure that you stay flexible and you don't sort of get all rigid and overworked and exhausted uh, in the process of trying to make yourself uh, understood. And um, it's just a time wherein that your feelings and your words could get tangled up a bit and they could just cause some amount of confusion. So just step back. On the 23rd, we have sun that is there uh, in your house of uh, career and reputation. And there's just this entire awakening that is there. And so entire focus is, a lot of focus this month is on the direction of your life, Scorpios. Where it is that you see yourself, or it's a new career, it's a new path, uh, how it is, uh, you know, you're planning it, what is it that you intend to do about it, uh, where you're going in life, uh, which direction you're going to be taking, and uh, it's, um, uh, you know, you want to accomplish a goal, the kind of work or sacrifices that it requires from you. And uh, it's just a time where also you're going to be taking a very practical approach to life. A lot of you are going to be um, dealing with mentors, bosses, parents, authority figures. So there's just this uh, um, time wherein that uh, uh, there is a lot of interaction with uh, people who are senior to you. And, uh, but it's also a time of accolades as well. So you could be recognized for the good work uh, that you have done. And um, it's just a time, Scorpius, where you need to be, um, you need to be 
more um, responsible and uh, uh, sort of just you know do away with the if there have been some uncomfortable feelings that have been there just sort of put them on the uh, on, on the side and just you know uh, get on with it now and uh, move on to this newer path uh, that you started on it's been a pleasure speaking with you Scorpio a quick reminder for those of you who are seeking deeper clarity you may write to me for a personal consultation at tarubayanisha at gmail.com do remember to subscribe, like and share my videos. I'll see you again next month and thank you so much for watching.